I just cannot fucking help myself. I swear to God, this is madness. Fucking transport's all delayed. I'll not be able to get back up the road. The message is going to go absolutely fucking ballistic. Hold on, I just want to show you a wee bit of this just before they'll disappear. You know what that is anyway, I had it in the last video. I may just use this as a video to be honest. Uh, this is like uh, the, the marching season in Northern Ireland. It's, uh, it's a very big kind of loyalist uh, King fucking Billy 1690 and all the fairy kind of tales. Um, but we still get Christmas so we believe in fairy tales obviously. Um, I'll just... I don't know how I couldn't turn in there. But it's not giving me the option to turn in. No, it doesn't give me the option to turn in. Right, I'll see if we can see them anyway. The wee woman was just telling me, do you want to move? There's a train coming and I'm pretty much on the fucking track. Story of my life, here we go boys and girls. Massive, the whole town loves it. People come from all over the country. I like, and I was ignorant. There's a massive fucking party in Scotland as well, in Glasgow and places like that. But, um, I like I say, I was ignorant to how big it was when I come over here. I don't even know if I'm, I'm getting you getting you's all in. I, my phone's fucking not the best. But you can hear the music, hear the festival. There'll be a big march round the town in the night, I suppose. And this happens for a good few times. This happens for a good few times. But what they'll do is they'll just walk all the way, all the way around the town. And, uh, and it's good for the locals, the locals love it, you know, they come out, the, the, the bars get filled, you know, money gets made, I suppose it's good for the wee local economy. Um, so that's, so that's that. There's the bands there, hopefully you can see them. If I fucked this up, I'm really sorry, I will get a new phone. And you see the men walking behind them with the umbrellas and all that. They're they're all part of the lodge and stuff like this. And that that'll be definitely one of my YouTube uh, episodes. It'll be on the the Loyalist Orange Lodge. Uh, and I don't give a fuck who I'm upset really, to be honest, because it's the truth. Aye, plenty of excitement for one night. So turn back to my ugly ugly mug. I don't even know how much of that you go. I'll have a look when I'm on the train and stuff like that. Uh, but fuck it, man. You know what I mean? Like I was on the train the other day, and apart from the elderly ones, there was nobody looking up. Everybody was looking down. You know, people are looking fucking. People are looking down when they should be looking up. People should be looking in when they should be looking out. It's uh, it's kind of common sense, you know. But uh, I fuck, I could talk for ages on it, but I don't want. I don't want to upset their culture. And the I end up. I'll tell you. See the day the Queen died, my missus put a post up saying pedophiles deserve it. And about eight hours later, there was a brick put through the front window. That's the kind of place you live now. I'm not going to say the person, persons are fucking idiots for doing it. Drunken idiots. Oh, aye, definitely. But um, to do that for somebody's point of view is that's what I would class as terrorism. I thought paramilitarism was about protecting the community. You know. Only with what I've saw, it doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be the case that it's just 
fears installed in the community and it's conditional as long as you do this do this don't do that especially don't do that you'll get a buy what a fucking weird world you know what I mean here you get shot, Scotland you get stabbed, slashed, fucking whatever. I know there's places in Scotland you get shot. But it's weird to hear uh, the odd gunshot run the estate we live in. Fucking hell, man. Uh, aye, that's an ass, an ass story in itself. But like I say, they're probably upset a few folk. Um, I'm on no side, I'm pure neutrality. So, uh, I'd say that's fair enough. I've bored it enough now. I've bored myself waiting in this bloody train. Um, but I that, that, that wee night is a big night for them. It's changed all like... There's a train there, give me two secs. I think, Noel, I think Noel Gallagher wrote a song about there was a lady like, somewhere going nowhere on a train or something like that. Maybe Craig Wilson could tell me on that. Um, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll do an episode on the Orange Lodge and I will do an episode on whatever comes, whatever happens. Whatever happens. Um, but... I don't think my message is going to be too happy that I can't get back up the road tonight. Um, things happen. That's life. Um, but take care to all yourselves and I hope you're hanging on in there. And, and even the ones that took the COVID jab, like like Do- Dr John Campbell, he, he got his... Uh, what do you call it, like, reaction, adverse reaction from the vaccine itself after his third. This was a, doc- a trained doctor uh, after his third, and then he started investigating into it, and he just seen that the, the, the main pharmaceutical companies, your Pfizer's, all the places, they're... Um, but the Danish, believe it or no, the Danish managed to get their information into a peer-reviewed... peer-reviewed... Um, whatever they call it, paper, which means it's uh, it's passed the scientific test, it's testable, measurable, observable, repeatable, or it's crept something like that, I don't fucking know, I've not got a, a, one education to my name, but they have got, uh, they've, they've got that stuff and I'll, and I'll definitely do it on, I feel like I'm just fucking talking to myself, well, sometimes it's better talking to yourself. Get better answers. Um, my mess has got a bit fucking raging machine as I can't get back, man. It's fucking shot when they don't have a late bus or something. It's a fucking... What day is it? Oh, it's Saturday, I suppose. Oh, no, it's a fuck. It's Sunday. It's Monday tomorrow. I'll be getting the first train back up. The looks it. But um, what, what I'm doing now, like, I'm, I obviously feel like kind of ner- I'm nervous and uh, not as much as I did. Like I'm kind of social awkward and 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 things like that anyway. So being being able to do this is a, like a like a wee bit kind of therapeutic for me. So if it helps me, it helps me. You know what I mean? And if uh, and if there's any folk out there struggling, like you you just feel that like you're You've been taken away by society, but not even taken away, you've been left abandoned by society. It's, you know, Agenda 2030 is a real thing. I, I, you can laugh and joke at me, but fucking, who's laughing and joking about COVID now? And I did, I was pure egotistical at the time because I knew I was right, but it was only because I knew I was right. You know what I mean? It was. I get, I get a bit far too much in it, like, we challenging people and I don't want to be doing that kind of shit. I just want to see stuff, have a look at it. If there's tests, facts and that put on it, great. Different point of opinion, even better, come up with a solution together.
life becomes life and we can fucking just be happy. Right, I'm off. See you later. Nut jobs.